Hi, I'm Fire and this is my office tour for 2024. This is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while and today we're doing it. So let me take you around and show you the place. So starting obviously here, this is my door. Uh, I made this like chain of, I don't know, like bracelets or scrunchies, probably when I was in like, honestly like fourth or fifth grade and I've just kept it this whole time because it's one of the pieces that I've just I don't know had the longest they're really easy to make and it's so meaningless but like I've had this on every door in every room I've ever owned so it's kind of special to me just because it's like older I don't know uh to the right of my door I have this like party wall thing I got it for like six dollars at Walmart uh and then the wall in which it's hanging on I'm planning on making it like an entire heart themed wall if that makes any sense so i have two heart things currently but i'd like to get more so first we have this little neon light that's off right now it used to be behind me on stream but now it's just kind of sits here on the wall uh and then we have my pin board with my pin collection uh i love pins so if you ever have any pins you want to send me feel free to do that these are some of the ones that i have uh but i definitely want to grow my collection this is just the start so Next to the right of that, we have my closet. Uh, we're not gonna go in the closet. It's basically, well, I can kind of show you. It's just a bunch of like kind of art stuff. So I've got like all of my paper here for crafting. Um, this roll out desk that I use, lots of different like craft materials. You can see my washi tapes and beads underneath it, markers, pens and stuff. So this is where I keep the majority of my craft supplies. It's just kind of on the ground because there's no room to support it. And then up top is just miscellaneous storage. So nothing really fancy in there. I'd love to one day like actually fill it with shelves and stuff. But for now, it's mostly stays closed. It's my closet. And then above my closet, I have just some like leaves, like fake leaves and flowers I got off Amazon and some paper lanterns that I've owned for like literally ever. I got it from like, what, Pier 1 Imports, I believe, a long time ago in California. So I don't really turn them on that often, but I like the way they look with like the lights off, just kind of like this. So over here in the corner, this is one of my favorite corners of the room. It's kind of like my relaxing corner of sorts. So starting here on this left wall, we have, it's kind of like a photo board, except I have mostly my art prints. And then a few photos of me and my friends from an event we went to recently. So super cute. Shout out to all of these artists. I'll link them in the description below. To the right of that, we have my gallery wall. All of these frames are from like Dollar Tree. And then all of the pictures inside them came from Vintage Fantasy Volume 1. Again, I'll link it in the description. Uh, just a really, really good magazine with a lot of cute prints that I used to make this wall. And then I arranged them like so. And you can see this bottom one here is a little broken because Kaya knocked it over. I've just been too lazy to replace it. So also she's a little raunchy, ooh. Uh, in the middle of the corner, we've got this little lamp that I use for reading. And then this is my little like relaxing and reading nook. Sometimes I'll make it, take like a nap here in between like streams and stuff. So we have the actual like Papazon itself. And then this a little chair and this little rug I have underneath. On the chair, this is the book I've been reading lately, Light from Uncommon Stars. I'm gonna finish it probably today. Highly, highly recommend it. And then next to it, I have this little stand that I put my water on or my stuff on while I'm using it. I have this candle here I got from my coworker. And then underneath it, you can see the design. It says, be mine, XOX, kiss me. This was a originally like a plain brown, I guess, shelving unit that I bought from one of my, not neighbors, but like people in my neighborhood for like $15. And I've repainted it and reconcepted it and I love it. It's one of the biggest things I've ever done, but also one of my favorites. So then over here, this is my chair where I spend all of my time. <laughs> Uh, you can see I've got my little diva pillow there. We always keep it this way because on the other side, ah, cop jump scare. <laughs> so I keep her like this and then I usually have like at least some jacket over my chair, so. So then we have, this is my desk. So this is where I do all of my filming and stuff. So you can see right here, this is my tumbler that I use every day. 
I burn through tumblers really quickly because I use them every single day until they inevitably break or something happens to them. So this is just the current one that I'm using. It was like $6 at Walmart, but I love it. Uh, then we have my notebook, which is where I put all of my like I video ideas and thoughts throughout the day. Underneath my monitor, I've got these little like, oh God, you can see how dirty it is. We're gonna back up. <laughs> we can see like, I've got these little like Sanrio, I believe they're cake toppers technically on Amazon, but I just keep them there and they keep me company. And then obviously left monitor, right monitor. In the middle, we have this light that I got from like AliExpress. It's like a little like flower or whatever. And I use it for lights on my face during my stream, like substitute for a ring light. And then this little bunny stand that I got on Amazon, I kind of use this when I'm filming most of my videos in this room. I use it to prop up this phone that I'm filming on. Underneath the right monitor, we have a few, <laughs> a few more standees. Please ignore the dust. A few more standees. We have uh, Kakomi, not Kakomi, oh my God. Uh, Karomi and My Melody, who are my two favorites from Sanrio, and then a little Pusheen. I might get more standees here eventually, but for now I just have a little Sanrio characters plus Pusheen. Here we have my keyboard. So this is my current keyboard. I've had it pretty much since like, <laughs> since the day I got a decent computer. It's very old and pretty dirty and I'd love to replace it one day, but she has served me for many years and she served me many very well. She survived many an accident and many a move, so. I love her. And you could say I have her cycling between the bisexual colors because that's my colors, babe. So that's her. And underneath her, I have one of my mouse pads. This is my oldest mouse pad and definitely <laughs> my dirtiest. So once again, we're not going to judge me for the dirt. We're just going to say, wow, fire. It looks so cool. And it looks so aesthetic. Like, look, if you zoom out, ooh, so pretty. So also on here, we have my headphones. These are like the Razor Kraken whatevers. Um, and then obviously I have attached horns for it for my stream aesthetic, which is like a demon goral, whatever. They're getting quite old. You can see they're really, really starting to wear down. Uh, sometime soon, I'm either gonna have to get new headphones or put like a cover on them. But for now, they're serving me well. Uh, and then right here, I also have my microphone. This is the Feevine something or another. Small detail that I kind of like about it that not everyone notices. Let's see if I can like catch it. Yeah, you can see there's like a little smiley face on. So pretty cute. I see a lot of people with mics very similar to this online. So not all by Fifine, but like with this general make and model. So not many complaints. Um, if my audio quality is ever bad, I promise it's not the mic. It's just cause this room is so echoey. So but this is my mic and you can see my mic stand goes over here and then whoop, cable management connects over here. My cable management, <laughs> It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. I have to leave my management pretty like loose because I have a standing desk, which right now is like halfway between standing and sitting. But you know, I, I do what I can, so. Oh, also I totally forgot to mention over here in the corner, uh, that light fixture is what I use for the lights in my background on stream. I typically just like prop it up so you can see it on the wall. And then this is a heater that I have <laughs> personal for me in here because I get cold really easily and I just kind of let it run, so. There's my desk. And then up over here to the right, this is my PC, also very dusty. We built it in, I believe, late or like mid 2022. So she's still relatively new and I haven't had any issues really with her. Any issues I have had, it's definitely 100% my fault and no one else's. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, over here behind and to the right of my PC, I have my shelves. These are shelves that I look at and love every day. It's like my pink and red heart shelves. So you can see kind of the aesthetic that's going on here. I've got my little Klee standy, a uh, cake that I made inspired by a cake from Deltarune. I have um, Celeste from Animal Crossing. One of those little like fake uh, peep things that's a little bunny. Uh, Yoshi Amiibo. We have um, a Karomi plush. And then on the second shelf, we have this little cake that my friend crocheted for me, a little Kirby, a Diva, a Mew, and another little Kirby. And then this light right here connects to my PC. And I just switch on this little switch. 
for just like this cute little aesthetic corner. I very, very much like this corner. So I've set up some things just for stream to see, but this is just for me, you know? So I'm allowed to have things too, okay? To the right, we have my Kiryu poster from my one year anniversary stream. So on it is all of the names of people who subscribed to me or were subscribed to me during that stream. So shout out to you if you're on here. I love you. <laughs> uh, to the right is my note board with some like notes from friends and people, some video notes, stuff like that. So also I've got a giant uh, Pusheen and Stormy and then a little Dutch Brothers cat because there's Dutch Brothers all over this town and I love it. Underneath that we have my giant trash can. So I do a lot of crafts uh, off stream. So I need a trash can that's this big and this durable to hold all my bullshit. So it's here. It just got emptied so it's pretty clean, but it's my bullshit trash can. And then to the right we have on this little like kind of sliding standy thing. This is all of the supplies that I use on the regular, either like for crafting or for like just doing stuff. So you can see here, we've got pens, pencil, scissors, um, <laughs> some older glasses that I occasionally use, but I don't often. This is the control panel for my lights that go around my room. Uh, what else? These are <laughs> my gamer chopsticks, whatever. Uh, tape, glue, some like fidget toys or whatever. This is like a little poppet. This is a fidget spinner. These are dice. I'm like 12 years old at heart. What can I say? Second level is a lot of like stream related stuff. So we have um, my diva gun, my tarot book. This is, oh, this is my tarot cards. Uh, my controller, some band-aids, my tarot book. And then I don't remember what's in there, but just like more miscellaneous stream stuff. So, bottom floor, we've got... Uh, a five pound weight that I occasionally remember to use so I can work out while I'm in here. Uh, in the back, I've got restocks on my gamer chopsticks. This is my big notebook where I put like bigger ideas that are too big to fit in that small notebook you saw before. And tissues because I am literally always sneezing. <laughs> but that's my little like rolly thing. So you can see a lot of things in this room are designed to move around and be flexible as I need them to, so. Over here, this is one of my big pieces that people notice as soon as they enter the room. This is my, I guess, like armoire of sorts, whatever. Uh, I got it for like $50 from one of the people in my neighborhood. And it's just so unique and gorgeous that I had to get it immediately. It is a very abrasive shade of green, I'm not gonna lie. Like even I can acknowledge that, but it's so well made and it's so beautiful, I couldn't, let someone else have it. So I grabbed it, even though it stands out so much in my pink and blue room, but it's gorgeous. So inside all of the cupboards here are mostly more art supplies. So you can see I've got like paint there. I have, you know, pens and here. It's basically like that everywhere. So it just kind of acts as storage. On top of it, I have my Christmas tree that I keep here year round for some reason. Some miscellaneous stuff I couldn't find better places for. My little Animal Crossing balloon I made very recently. Uh, and just some miscellaneous stuff. This is kind of like half storage for like stuff I'm thinking of what to do with and half a decoration, I don't know. So uh, above it on the wall, I have some more prints and stuff, mostly from Vintage Fantasy. So some of these are from volume one. Some of these are from volume two. I'll let you take a little look. In the middle, we have this giant tapestry of the Zodiac that I got from my mom. This is one of the very first things I put up when I moved in. Very cute. I probably should have ironed it, but that's fine. And then more prints. Although here in the corner, this is a portrait of me that was done by one of my friends in college, which I just thought she did such a good job and I hung it and I think about her every day. Elizabeth, I love you. Thank you. In the corner are some more prints. Uh, these two I got from my friend when they were moving. And then this one is just another artist print, same as the prints in the corner. Right behind me, this is gonna be the most familiar section. This is what people see on stream and in the background of my videos every day. So on the left here, this is a little like fire neon sign. 
that Tim bought for me. Thank you, Tim. I love you too. Uh, and then over here is my main bookshelf, which I've owned literally forever and I have most of my stuff on. So you can see all of my plushies have the top shelf and the ones up here are my favorites. I love them the most. And then this year I've started a like noodle stopper Miku collection. So you can see I have two of them here. On the left here, I have the, I don't remember what her name is, like Sailor Love Letter Miku, something like that. And then Demon Miku. And I'm working on getting more, but they're my starters. And then plushies left to right, we have My Melody, Rowlet, uh, Plague Doctor, Wooloo, and Puppy Cat. So. Second level, we've got some books and some more accessories. So we have this giant cat my friend got me. Uh, I put this little sombrero on him and I named him Pepito because I love him. I have this uh, Ryuga Gotoku themed duck, aka Kiryu uh, Kazuma from Yakuza. Right here, I have a little map that I made of Stardrop Island, uh, which was my island in Animal Crossing. Behind it and propping it up, I have this <laughs> random collection of you know, bouncy balls that I own for some reason. I think I got them all from the movie theater in the town I used to live in. Uh, and then this like little like rainbow standy thing that my boss got me for my birthday, which I just thought was cute. I don't know. And then we've got some notebooks, some here, some more here. And these notebooks, I have some fun things sticking out. So you can say I have this old pride flag sticking out here, a little Okuyasu figure hidden right here. <laughs> and then this really, really tiny Mexican flag that I stole from the uh, Mexican restaurant that's near us. On this level as well, I have some more plushies. So I have Pusheen, I have Charlotte, I have my next noodle stopper Miku, who is pink in the Sakura, and the Funko Pop that I customized to look my, like me. Originally she was that character from like Doctor Strange, whatever, I don't remember her name. I'll, I'll put it up, but I made her look more like me and she can't stand very well on her own, but she sits here. So. And then more books, cause I'm a nerd, so. And then final area. This is my figure shelf, which I got from Ikea. I think one day I'm gonna do like a full figure tour where I give you the details of like my figures and how much I paid for them. But as a general overview, I've got some of my cutesy purpley girls on this level. This level is a bunch of like nostalgic shit from my childhood. And I got my emo girls on this level. Bottom level is blank, but I absolutely have more figures ordered and on the way, so. But hey, that's everything for now. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll see you again, I don't know, maybe in a year. We'll see.